Anaerobic digestion is a biological process that turns waste into energy. It comes from a variety of different sources, uh, including food manufacturers and consumers, um, and it would otherwise go to landfill. And that material is put in a big pot in an oxygen-starved environment, and little bugs release a biogas, which we can either burn in a combustion engine to make electricity, or we can clean up, removing the carbon dioxide, and we can put the resulting methane into the gas grid. There are three major benefits for anaerobic digestion. Firstly, it stops waste going to landfill. Secondly, it produces uh, a green renewable energy that uh, we really need in the UK at the moment. And thirdly, it produces a biofertiliser that stops us from having to use uh, chemical or fossil fuel fertilisers. A lot of the problem that we find in the UK at the moment is that people just don't understand uh, when somebody wants to build something in their back garden they get very nervous about it. Part of the process for us is to make sure that we educate people on the facts. Our experience is that once we've done that the community is generally very supportive. We spend a lot of time locating possible locations for a plant and then we want to work with the locals and make sure they understand because most of the issues that people have come from a lack of understanding. This is a relatively new technology and the more that people understand, the more that they tend to support this. I started my career on the conventional energy side and to generate electricity or get your energy from coal, which is basically high caloric value dirt, or to basically go to an elaborate process of generating plants from nuclear power, I don't really believe is the right solution. On a long-term basis, we need a green, renewable solution to provide security of supply and safety of supply. Interestingly, nuclear and AD cost about the same amount to build, somewhere between four and five million pounds a megawatt. But of course, AD has the advantage of not having the operating costs that, uh, or the legacy issues associated with nuclear. I'm not saying that AD will ever replace nuclear, but it demonstrates that it, pl it plays a very important part in the overall generation mix. Anaerobic digestion will not be the largest by any means, but it will be an important part of the mix, and we can perhaps produce about 15 to 2% of the UK's uh, electricity. In the long term, we need an energy strategy that basically manages three different factors. One is we need security of supply, we need energy at a reasonable cost, and we need to generate our electricity at the lowest possible carbon emission level. If you look at all of our options going forward, anaerobic digestion basically meets the three criteria and will get better over time.